Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome to update 0.26 for Beam and G Drive. Now this update isn't quite as massive as 0.25, but there's still a ton of awesome stuff packed in here and today I'm going to review some of the standout features. Disclaimer alert, I was blessed with a pre-release version of this update, so just keep in mind everything you are about to see is from a pre-release version, so there might be a few bugs here and there. So the standout feature of this update is definitely the revamped Covet, but I wanted to start off with something you might not have known you wanted in Beam, but you're glad it's here. So yes, proper motion blur has been added into the game. Now, this is exciting for a couple of reasons. It's exciting to me because as a BMG content creator, recording this game sucks and ultimately leads to disgustingly large file sizes. And motion blur drastically reduces those file sizes along with uh, smoothing out the gameplay. With that said though, any other games besides racing games usually look like trash with motion blur. I highly recommend turning off motion blur uh, in any non-racing game because nine times out of 10, you're gonna end up uh, being violently ill. But the thing is in racing games, motion blur can give you an insane feeling of speed. It actually has an entire video uh, explaining this and I highly recommend you check it out because he explains it a whole lot better uh, than I ever could. But basically, motion blur makes you feel the speed as you're hurtling towards a wall at, uh, you know, 100 miles an hour. So for reference, here's the game with no motion blur whatsoever. Here's the game at 50% motion blur. And here is with full motion blur. I found the sweet spot is about halfway. It's just a little too muddy for my taste at 100, but I really think it's up to you and uh, what you think looks best. And trust me, when you get a car up to 200 miles an hour, it feels like you're about to enter hyperspace or something. It's an awesome feature, and I'm so glad that it's finally in the game. All right, so let's rapid fire some of the other stuff that was added into the 0.26 update. <gasps> New props, delinator posts, large tires, plastic barrier, round silage, bale variant. Huh? Animated shifters, finally! Foliage, road decals, and terrain PBR updates on many of the maps. Preview of the realistic hydraulic system? New input assist for keyboard and gamepad users. A ton of new missions which I will be making a dedicated video for, so stay tuned. I like this one. Simplified vehicles that can be used in traffic with reduced physics detail that should help improve performance without sacrificing the visual quality. Also parked cars. So uh, more things I can crash into by accident, basically. Experimental vehicle editor. Okay, okay, it's finally time to check out the new Covet. One of the oldest cars in the game. This thing has been around since the first release of BMD Drive, so uh, this was long overdue. Featuring a completely redone exterior and interior, along with new variants and even a custom button to open the hood, which, I don't know, I know that's not a big deal, but I'm a sucker for small details like that. I love it, man. But enough talk, let's get this thing out on the road and see how long I can last before crashing it. Okay, so there's a few versions of this that I am kind of excited to try out. I kind of want to try the police car. I know this thing's not going to be practical uh, at all, but I still want to see what the inside of this looks like. Hey, we do have the police. Well, not the police computer, but we got everything, all the, the tidbits. Can we take people down with this, though? That's what I want to know. Oh, my God. The ho the horn sounds so ridiculous. I love it. All right. Who wants some of this? It's like the world's smallest police car. People are getting out of the way, though. This guy, not speeding. Okay, we got to find somebody who's speeding. There's definitely somebody up here. Somebody's got to be breaking the law. Traffic control. So it's not really even a police car, I guess. 
But uh, let's control some traffic. <laughs> We're okay, right? Right? All right, let's get into some of the uh, the faster ones here. Uh, we have Street Tuned 15 GTZ Turbo 2. Now that thing sounds fast. Let's try this one. Oh, yes, it is fast. Oh, excuse me, guys. Wow, okay. 140. Is that kilometers an hour, I'm guessing? So this is a right-hand drive. Do we have right-hand drive? Oh, God! <laughs> Okay, hold on, let's reset right here in the middle of traffic. Um, did we have right-hand drive Covets to begin with? I don't think we did, did we? I don't really know. Anyway, let's try quite possibly the fastest Covet here. That would be the drag, of course. I am terrified of this thing, but let's try it out anyway, huh? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> How fast does this go? Oh, this thing's spitting flames. Oh, God. Oh, no. I can't control it. Oh, no. Oh, boy. We flipping. We flipped. I'm sure we're okay, though. <laughs> oh, just for the record, I am doing a uh, separate video just on the new Covet. Right now, I just kind of wanted to, to show it off. I do want to do one little thing. Uh, before we go though, and that's of course take the drag edition off the uh, the jump off the car jump arena because obviously we got to see how far it can go. I'm guessing right around 400. It felt pretty quick. It's definitely not the fastest uh, drag car we have, but it's still pretty darn quick. That motion blur looks so good, man. It looks so good. All right, here we go. Here we go. Past the 200, past the 300. Right. Actually, I was pretty much spot on. Didn't I just say 400? Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna tumble. Can we make it to the pool? Oh no, just barely missed out. Okay, well, let's get it in there. Let's get it in there. There we go. Anyway, guys, this has been the version 0.26 update video i hope you guys enjoyed again you can download this right now it should update on steam automatically and you can check the dev log i'll have that linked down below as well anyway i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys in the next one see ya